Hey guys, it's Jeremy White here. Make sure you like and subscribe to get more cool content like this. Today is a very special anniversary. February 10th, 1978 was the day Van Halen released their debut album. Now, my interview with Paul Stanley is only going to be coming out in a couple of weeks, talking about his new album, Soul Station, dropping March 19th. But I wanted to get this out today because it's a pretty cool little conversation we have about Van Halen and Edward Van Halen and Paul's relationship and when that album came out. Check it out and make sure you like and subscribe. Here's Paul Stanley. Uh, listen, today's a big anniversary. February 10th, 1978, Van Halen released their debut album. I spoke to Gene back in December, and we had a whole conversation about Edward, but I, I never got your perspective on the whole Van Halen thing and Kiss and all that. You know, what was your reaction to that album when it came out, you know, 43 years ago now? And, you know, was, was there any truth to, you know, Eddie and Alex potentially joining Kiss at some point? You know, I can only speak for myself and and... I went to the Starwood, which was a club in L.A. There was a, a, a group of clubs that you could kind of do a circuit and go around to these different clubs and uh, make a night of it. And I went out one night actually um, with Lita, Lita Ford, mm -hmm. and we, we went to Starwood, and she was more familiar with the bands who were playing that night. And uh, there was a band that did Detroit Rock City, and they did a cool version of it. So... Uh, I said to Gene, come on down, you know, the next night. So he came with us, came with me. I don't know who else came, but um, and uh, weren't a handful of people there, but uh, they were they were on fire. And Gene got up and and left where we were and went and talked to them and and uh, took them in the studio, did a, did uh, demos with them, and. Uh, then uh, brought the demos to our manager at the time. Mm. And honestly, um, I was against uh, our manager signing them because I thought that it was a critical time for us. And mm. Gene is very drawn to different things, as I am. And um, I didn't want him to lose his focus. So uh, in any case, our, our manager... Uh, Bill of Coin had passed on them, but it was uh, in no time after that that they got signed to Warner's and, and the album came out. Um, uh, look, they, they took the world by storm. They were an amazing, amazing band. Dave was the guy. I mean, you know, I mean, just phenomenal on stage. And yeah. the whole band was like a steamroller. As far as... Uh, joining Edward joining us or anything like that. I I have to say, I didn't ever hear that. Um, I was on the phone with him at, at, around that time. He was calling me um, and I think there was tension in, in his band. And he was, uh, he was asking me, for example, why we did solo albums, why we had to do that. I, I think he, he felt that fracturing within his band. But as far as uh, anything beyond that, uh, wanting to join us or anything like that, I I have no, I I can't say no, and I wouldn't say no. I right. don't, I don't know. Hmm. I, I'll leave that to Gene. And when that first record came out, you know, because today is the big anniversary of that, it's like, you know, what was your initial reaction when you first heard Van Halen, like on the radio or that album? Were you kind of, were you blown away, like, oh wow, like what is this, or were you just kind of like, eh? Kiss. Well, I knew I knew what it was. It was Van Halen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it sounded great on the radio. I mean, running with the devil sounded ridiculous. Um, look, it was undeniable. There are certain things that come along that are undeniable. And uh, it's just a matter of, of watching the momentum uh, as it goes along. When that album came out, it was, uh, okay, here's a game changer. And every band that they played with um, suffered the the uh, consequences of, of having them opening because they were just a, a force to be reckoned with. The, you know, you, you didn't want to follow that. Um, Ozzy says, you know, as much, you know, about uh, the, the shows that uh, Van Halen did with Sabbath. Yeah, just they would blow them off the stage every night. Um, let me ask you this, you know, after Van Halen came out and, you know, with Ace slowly and Peter leaving the band and stuff and you're bringing in guys like Vinnie Vincent, you know, you kind of went away from Ace, who was basically playing Paige's licks to Vinnie, who now has a whammy bar. 
was Eddie Van Halen sort of like an influence on the scene at that point where you kind of said we, we need more of a hot gun slinging guitar player? Totally, totally. Um, it really became the uh, what people expected. Um, a few people stuck to their guns and 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 stayed within um, you know the 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 context of what they had been doing. But for the most part, yeah, it was the time of of guys, I have to say most of them were just pale imitations, you know. Mm -hmm. um, there was Edward and there was uh, Randy and a couple of other people. and then there were just a lot of people, you know, knocking it off. But yeah, we uh, we were conscious of what was going on. And uh, because we had members changing and and the band was in kind of like a <clears throat> a state of transition, yeah, we 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 adapted different uh, than a lot of bands. I mean, certainly, you know, there was a, a period where the the Stones were doing, um, um, you know, "Miss You" or and uh, right, you know, um, you know uh, loads of. Loads of bands were, were kind of like kind of stepping out of the lane a little bit. Yeah, you know, stepping out of the lane to to keep going. Mm. You know, honestly. And uh, you know, um, we 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 got off at some interesting exits, but we got back on, you know, on the highway. 